Hi, I'm a Keely Basin. I am 35. My name is Daryl. Uh, my name is Josh. Uh, my name is Devin. Uh, my name is Josh Farley. My name is uh, uh, Brendan. Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Nev. Adam Farrell. Hi, I'm Will. My name's Nathan. My name's Tom. Hello, my name is Jaden. My name is Callum. My name is Kerry Sarmstrong. My name is Nathan Allen. <laughs> my name is Luke Gannon. My name is Guy Sheldon. My name is Cheryl Barbara. My name is Alfie Henry. BMX, skating, scooters, inline skates, parkour. They're all art forms in their own right. A complete freedom of expression. All of these sports require you to become at one with your hands, your feet and your head. It forces you to concentrate and be resilient for what it is that you're trying to achieve. The hidden beauty behind these sports is a high consequence. Without that high consequence, it fit the same mould as every other conventional sport. Football, cricket, too regulated, there's too many rules. And this opens the door for people to tell you you're doing it wrong, and that's not what we're about. What I've found over the last eight years in, uh, in BMX is that the people involved aren't normal sports men and women. These are people who want to push themselves, progress, help each other, and express themselves through this sport. There is no right or wrong way to ride a BMX or to skate or to ride a scooter. And that's what keeps people hooked year after year. Our aim here at Onboard is to help young people who find it hard to concentrate or stick at a task, to put their time and effort into a new sport like BMX or scooting, skateboards or parkour. It's been proven by getting involved with a new sport or activity that it massively improves your mental health and physical capabilities. Here at Onboard, we already have a great space to facilitate for the introduction into these sports. But with help from a little bit of funding, we'd be able to create one of the leading skate parks in the UK, making Onboard a safer and more fun place to be and a better place to learn these sports. And to help some of the students that might find it really difficult to sit in a classroom and do conventional work to get their teeth really into a new sport they can really get into outside of the school curriculum. Now just a really quick story about one of our students. She was on the sexual exploitation register, she was involved with gangs, she was on the youth offenders list, she didn't go to school for 18 months, came to us at Onboard, studied maths and English with one of our tutors and now she's secured herself a place at college and she's got herself a part-time job. And she just hung out here, she didn't even ride the bikes. So that's us. We're on board and this is what we do. I really hope you can help. So thank you for your time.